Hello Pirates, it's Ren here. And in this video we'll be talking about the Canon Strike drone module. As you can see I have two of them in my mega hall. Keep in mind that to build any drone modules you need to replace the standard bridge with the drone bridge. So let me click more info here, you can take a look. This is the drone bridge level 4, I think is the max it goes up to. We can check here, see you cannot upgrade anymore. So this one adds drone capacity. By having the drone, your drones will be sent to defend friendly mega ships linked in the hive, up to two nodes away from you, and at most four ships in the hive at once. I have one here, level one drone module. So let's take a look at what we get when it's level one. Maximum of four drones. There's a three second delay in between one drone and the next spawning, and it spawns one at a time. The defense of the module, it has only 50k deflection and at the top we should see 26 million health. In terms of attack, uh, let's get to the drone here, movement. So 60 and 40, this is the drone speed. And when we look at the weapon, the drone weapon, it starts at tier 6 and it starts doing 120,000 damage per shot. That's the built-in weapon. That's more than a goalkeeper already and you can have 4 at a time, so I'd say you could replace all your goalkeepers with these drone modules and you'd be better off. But that's probably still not enough to hurt any Conqueror with the C9 armor. Forget it. You won't be hurting it. The way you get it better is by upgrading. So when we upgrade the module from level 1 to 2, you see it gains more health. It gains more deflection. Then when you upgrade the drone, which is the core in this case, see it's the drone here, it goes up a tier. It gains armor, so the little drone has only 2 million armor, so dies really fast. It goes to 3 million armor. The movement doesn't change, but you see the built-in weapon goes from 120 to 150,000 damage. I have one here that's already level 2. So this one, whenever I upgrade it to level 3, it becomes a tier 8. It, gains four, it goes to 4 million armor instead of 3. Movement doesn't change, defense doesn't change, but the damage it does goes from 150 to 180. Now keep in mind those built-in weapons, there's nothing you can do to change them. So th this reload time and range and accuracy you see here, regular specials will not change it. So if I try to come in here and refit, this is the built-in cannon, and I have one weapon slot at level one and one armor and one special. So in this case, because Really, there isn't much you can do. There's no powerful weapons you can put in here. I put a tactical weapon, a polonium thrower, to reduce the accuracy of the enemy. It's also important to keep the range of these weapons you put in at this, around the same as the built-in weapon, which is 80. Otherwise, the drone will stop at the maximum weapon range and this one won't fire. Because of that, I put a radioactive force. So the range of this drone, which is 88, goes down by about 10% and it becomes 80 or something like that. In terms of armor, because it has only 3 million armor in the drone, the, the armor you see here is the module, not the drone. As you could see when I, in the upgrade screen, the drone only has 3 million, 2, then 3, then 4. I would recommend you put something that adds significant armor here, such as the D6TA and the D6STSL. You could also use one of the C9 armors, they're available. Just remember, you only have 15 of those. So if you use one in the drone here, you won't have enough for 15 conquerors if you need specific armor for all of them. Okay, so keep that in mind. And these ones don't add any raw health. They just add the huge deflection. That helps. To compare, so this is a level 1 drone. In the other module I have, I think it's a level 3 drone. Three. So level 3 now has 3 weapon slots, 3 armor slots, and here I have a CT9 and a C9 which I did and then I regretted because I need that CT9 on, on a Conqueror. I'm going to have to remove that. And to do a test, I did put one special that adds speed and one special that adds ballistic range to demonstrate it doesn't change the range or the reload or the damage of the built-in cannon. Let's watch a video that demonstrates that in action. Let's check it out. I want you to notice here, uh, the drones will leave my mega hole in pairs because I have two modules, so it's going to be two, then two, then two. And notice how one moves faster than the other. That's because one has Hyper 30, 
making it 30% faster and the other doesn't. Right, so you see that difference. But in the end, they all stop at the same place, showing that they all have the same range. In this case, you notice having that ballistic special, giving it more range, does not affect the built-in cannon. On the other hand, the enemy mega hull to the right has one drone module, and that drone module is only releasing one drone at a time. So you saw the four going at the same speed, and they got killed by my drones. You see the drones are not really damaging the modules, but the scatter gun and the launcher are. They just hit in there. The drones fire the little cannon I put in them. It doesn't do damage. That's a scrambler cannon. It's tactical because of the debuff it gives the enemy. But there, you see now the scatter gun and the launcher, they hit and they kill. So these drones are more of a supporting feature at this stage. Maybe when they're fully upgraded, they'll be able to do more damage because most modules have 75 or 100k deflection, so until they're beyond that, I don't expect their built-in cannon to do any damage. You can see also their drones are not hurting my mega module, and because their modules pointing at my mega hole were destroyed first, they're not doing anything either. So now it's just wait for the scatter gun and the launcher I have at the tip of my mega hole to kill their modules completely and the battle is going to be over. So I just wanted to show you about the drones. I think that accomplished the, the, the goal. So you know speed makes a difference, evade makes a difference, but anything that's ballistic related will only affect regular cannons you put in, but not the built-in cannon. Nothing affects the built-in cannon as far as specials go. One final comment, it's important to upgrade the scatter gun. You can see the range. This is upgraded to level 3. It's almost the same range as the launcher in there. When it's level 1, it's a much, much shorter range. So upgrade the one that's pointing at the enemy. So as you could see in the end, uh, I'm keeping this Hyper 30. I'm probably going to put some sort of engine here. If you want to work the evade on this drone, for instance, make it harder to kill. You could even put a onslaught engine here and I have a countermeasure special for these countermeasures here. This cannon I put because of the accuracy debuff but I'm thinking maybe I'll swap that for a missile that has a slow effect like the D55M with three four drones around and this guy's firing probably I can get a 25% slow effect which will be partially neutralized by whatever slow resistance the attacker has. So you won't get the 25%, but you get something. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, if you're building these drone modules and the scatter guns and the engine, remember to upgrade them. And to upgrade them, you need titanium and you need those advanced systems and metal alloys. See you next time, parts. Take care.